Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for the love and support that you're giving yourself, is giving me, is others that truly need it, especially through this chaos of the world that we got going on right now. You know, we really need that. And so, you know, keep shining your light. Keep giving out love and positivity. I know sometimes it might be hard to give it to people. But go ahead and try to give it to them anyway. You'll feel better. And, you know, you'll feel better at the, at, the, uh, at the end of it. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings. Love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. If you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell. Especially, you know, when the girls upload the next video. And if you are comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, like and subscribe and even share on, you know, whatever social media favorite that you ever, where you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm kind of, you know, and thank you for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to resonate um, with the content of the video. And thank you for the support as always and today this beautiful meditation i'm listening to got my body all tingling that's why i start uh my, my tongue got tied it's called here heal the heart chakra love frequency aura cleansing chakra healing meditation i will post that link in the description box below y'all didn't think i was gonna be able to do another video i told y'all my last one I, like, oh, I don't think i'm gonna do another one because it wipes out so much energy that's why i was like oh i don't know if i'm gonna be able to put out some videos tomorrow but i will try if it's meant for me you know energy will give me um i said energy you know universe and god will give me that energy to go ahead and get through to make some more videos if it's meant for me to make some videos so um um, today my video is about Twin Flame 101, Hey Oka's on the times that you're feeling alone. There are so many times, you know, we can go do certain things and be put in certain situations that we never feel like we're going to get out of. You know, I definitely know where that comes from. You know, I feel like, you know, that time, especially when you're going through things or, you know, you're not where you want to be at, but you have to be able to look at it in a different perspective because, you know, at times we can be at that point where, you know, me, I'm a Taurus. But, you know, in Sun, Moon, and Rising, I'm, I got that Scorpio and Leo and Libra and Gemini as well. So, it's just like I get all those, you know, the signs and that energy from all those different Earth, you know, uh, Earth, Fire, Air, you know, um, energies coming in. So, it can be kind of crazy in my mind. Especially when we be in a Taurus, mainly a Taurus. You know, we don't have patience. We're very stubborn. So, you know, it, it, it's just like to me, I'll be wanting that microwave at times. You know, like, ugh, I'm tired of being in this situation, but I have to be patient. Trust in the universe timing, you know, trust in divine timing. You know, we could go through things and, you know, I would hear people and I cry sometimes because, like, you know, Rosalind, I felt like I was alone. I really truly needed to hear that message you put in my video because, you know, everything is said for a reason. You know, there are sometimes, you know, some people ask me, you know, how do you come up with the videos you come up with? Um, it's, it could be something I'm going through that day. Um, that I feel other people might be going through the same thing because we went through so much hell in the last couple of, you know, last couple of years. And it's just like 2018 was a very, like a slap in the face, eye opener and hell chaotic. You know, people don't went through so many different things last year. It was crazy. So it's just like, and you might be still going through things, you know, or there's some people are probably seeing the reason why they had to go through things, you know, I, like in my other two videos, well, my video before last, I got really emotional, you know, because it's like the death of a loved one can really mess you up. And if it, you know, with my kind of circumstances is really hard, but then, you know, there's times, you know, that I felt alone, but there will be so many synchronicities and so many signs that I would get that um, that will let me know I'm not alone. You know, I'm not going through this journey by myself, even though I might be my own, you know, have my own back. You know, I, I feel that, you know, 
with the videos that I make with the things I'm going through there's a reason behind it there's always a reason behind the things we go through and sometimes it can be really hurtful really traumatic you know you could be burying a loved one or you know you got something really jacked up going in your life you could have lost your job like right now with everything going on with people who are working right now and not getting paid that that has to be frustrating people that are on assistance like medicare or ssi or whatever you know kind of assistance you might be getting it might be slowed down stopped or whatever that has to be a hard pill to swallow especially when you have rent that has to be paid you got bills that are due you know you got children you need to support and not you know trying to work and you're not getting paid but yet i guarantee you they're taking them down on taxes out you know all that crazy stuff i mean there are so many things that we're going through and you know you're not dealing with them alone because you know god's going to find a way universe is going to find a way for you you know there's sometimes when you go through situations just like you know i used to say you know god got me on me he ain't hearing me you know and it's just like you always have to look at your perspective you know the, the things that you're going through you have to put in a positive perspective there's a reason why you know these things are occurring you know i can't tell you but then you know what you're going through you know i just go ahead and send prayers and love and light anyway you know i don't know your situation but they do you know the powers that be they know so I just put, push my prayers out for it. I pray for everybody, you know, even for my enemies, you know, hurt people, hurt people. You know, I might not understand the reason why they go out their way to do that. You know, I guess because my heart don't work that way. You know, I can say some hateful stuff to somebody, you know, push me in the corner. But, you know, then you get that karma back on you. And I know that was sometimes I, I try to understand that as I don't question God. I try to stop doing it. You know, I, even if I feel like I catch myself doing that, I say, we backtrack. Don't ever question the things that's going on in the world. You know, it makes sense to you later on in life. But then I had to appreciate my downfall. I had to appreciate the things I went through. Because if I, like, I keep telling y'all that, but, then, you know, people got to hear that. When you can see that your situation is going, matter of fact, a prime example, you know, I can see motivational speakers that are, out on YouTube or out, you know, on Facebook or, you know, Twitter or whatever you, you know, whatever have you, you know, you'll see a lot of people that, you know, make things to where it makes people feel good is that value, validation, that confirmation that, you know, hey, you know, these people don't went through this or, you know, they're trying to make me look at things in a different situation or, you know, things will come at us, you know, can hit home for us and have you crying and have you really looking at things like, wow. You know, I get it. You know, I understand. And it was just like, it took me a long time. You know, there's times that I do get it and then I get frustrated about it. But then after taking my break and taking that time out for me, I really truly understood why I had to go through what I had to go through. It's just like, if you want to make this work or you want to make a career out of this, you have to believe in what you're saying. You can't just take it you know take it for what it's worth and tell somebody this and you're not living by the things that you're going through and i'm not saying i'm being a hypocrite or i'm being one-sided but there's times we can give out advice and we won't take our own you know empaths are like that <laughs> you do that at times you know you can tell somebody all day oh you need to do this and this is sad but when it comes to yourself you feel stuck and there's times i can admit i have been fault of that i've been you know i don't want to say victim but i've been a suspect of that you know, I never, you know, I, I used to play victim at times, you know, back, you know, before I really understood, you know, this happened to me, this happened to me, this, you know, these people did this and this and this and that. And I found myself doing that. But now I'm like, okay, yeah, I've been through these things, but I'm not a product, product of that. You know, yeah, these messed up things happen to me. It might be frustrating. I may not understand it, but I know there's always a reason behind it. And I know if I don't fully understand it, you know, and I ask universe, they'll bring that clarity to me or they'll send that confirmation or a blessing will come in just to say, you know, you're not doing the things you're doing in vain. You know, there's times you feel alone. You are not alone. You know, it's just how you have to look at things, you know, and I know I don't know your life. You know, you know your life. You know the situations that you're going through. But you know that there's a reason behind everything you go through. Maybe, you know, you might be going through abusive relationships or you're losing friends left and right. That's right there that's telling you, yeah, I might be a hurtful thing. It's like, dang, I've been out here and, you know, I've been fighting strong for my friend. Or I've been fighting strong for my man. Or I've been fighting strong for my girl. And they took advantage of those things. 
that that's an eye opener to tell you, you know, yeah, you you know, that tells a lot about people's character. You know, there's sometimes people know my story and they be like, Oh, I would have did this and this and that and then there'll be times I'll be agreeing with them and I'm like, now I'm at that point like, no, you know, you know it might cross my mind you wanna drop kick somebody, but then it's just like they're showing my character, it lets me know I'm no better than the person that was dishing the stuff out to me. So it's just like when you have these things happen to you, know how you know, if you, you can you can't, you might not be able to change, you know, you can't change people, but you can change who you be around. You can change about how you react to things, how you respond to things. There are sometimes, I was the type of person, I always had the last word, had to put that last word in. Like they say something, I'm like, mm hmm. You know, I had to say something. There's sometimes, you know, you know, to respond to a fool is sometimes just be quiet. Just be quiet. Just pray for them. You know, they do stuff to you. I mean, it can be a really hurtful thing. You know, but you pray for folks like that because you don't know the reason behind it doing it. You might not understand. And it's sometimes it's hard for us to do, but you never should take it personal when people hurt you. Because it ain't even about you. I mean, unless you intentionally went out and did something to them for this to happen, then okay, that's the result of that. But if you know you've been there for people, you 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 bend over backwards when they're not even ready to jump a puddle over you. It tells a lot about your character and it says a lot about them. But then when you see that that come, you know, when you go through situations like that, it can be hurtful. But then at the long term, if you think about it, if there's somebody else that's trying to run that same game on you, you already know how to vote. Okay, hold up. I've been through this before. You ain't about to do this to me. When you know your worth and you know how you're going to respect yourself, if somebody don't respect you the way you need to be respected, that you're giving them that respect, walk away. Don't deal with them. Cut them off. You know, if there's somebody you got to work with, try to avoid that. You know, it's just like that's as simple as that. You know, you go through things like that. Like, I went through a narcissistic relationship. I, you know, that prevented me like that. I was a narcissistic person right along with them. So I was doing tip for chat. You don't take for tat like that. So it's just like when I went through my situation now, you know, I, I mean, it gets on my nerves when I see other people in my same situation. Like mine is karmic. Like I can't get out of my situation. If there was, I would have been gone a long damn time ago. But I know the reason why I have to go through my, re you know, mine. It's just when you can find, you know, the time to go ahead and release that anger. You know, release yourself knowing better things are coming for you. You know, you just have to be patient. You may not see it. But it's just when you're in your situation and you can go through your journey and it's not like, Ugh, I'm ready just for change, you know. And I get there that sometimes I get like that. Like there could be things that's happening. And I'm like, why me? You know, I'm tired of this situation. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do something different. I'm ready to go on with my life and get that happiness out. You know, you have to be patient. You know, you, you're like I've even seen a post one day. It was just like, yeah. You're in a hurry for things to happen, but God's not. You got to trust in his timing. You got to trust in the divine timing. You know, the divine universe on the reason why, you know, you have to wait. So when you can sit up here and say, you know, just ask for that strength to get you through whatever you're getting through. And when you can know that you're going through this for a reason, it's just like sometimes we might wish that we never met certain people. Don't be doing that because it's just like they showed you who they truly are. And like my Angelo always said, when they show you the first time, who they truly are, believe them. <laughs> believe them. Then you thank them, you thank God and universe that they were able to let you know how this th that mask came off and this is how this truly per true person is. You got to accept them for who they are. And if they're doing some hurtful things, you got to pray for them and pray that they heal from whatever they're, they're putting you through. You know, because you never should take anything personal, especially if people going out to do things. That's just letting you know when people go out there and they talk bad about you, try to throw dirt on your name, you try to make people look at you in a bad light. There's something, obviously there's something, either they're threatened by you or your sh your light shines darker than, you know, lighter than them, brighter than them, or they just want what you got. So I've had those situations come to me and it's just like, I, you know, real people, if you know who, know me for who I truly am. Then you can say, you know what, you might that might be your experience with them. It just whoever comes across, that's whatever, you know, what kind of attitude they come. You know, it just depends on the attitude and how what they bring into me. If you come for me when I ain't sent for you, oh, you about to get it. I'm like, uh, -uh ain't got time. <laughs> you know, I ain't gonna cuss you out. You know, back in the day, I would cuss you out, like stay the hell away from me. But now I'm just like, okay, I, you got good things going on. Okay, that's fine, but just stay the hell away from me. I ain't got time. 
Leave me alone. I know what you're about. And I already see what you're stepping in. You'll be able to know those situations when you go through it. You can stop it right there. Have that respect. Have that love for yourself. Being able to know you know your worth. You know what you're not going to put up with. And you know what you are going to put up with. Don't worry about what people think of you. Because, you know, people struggle to live with themselves. They struggle to love themselves. Because when people do that, you know, that lets you know they don't love themselves when they can go out there and say bad things. You know, I had a situation where I had family, my significant other throwing all kinds of dirt on my name, saying anything they wanted to. But people didn't know the other half of the story. There's always their story, your story, and then the truth. So it's just like when I, I show my character, when you're on my videos, you might not know me on a personal note, but people know me on a personal note. You know, if I've walked away from them, they probably found bitterness or they probably, you know, at that time they might have been upset with me but there was a reason behind that you know when I know my worth and I know you know there's times I gave people chances and gave people chances and let them stay in my life longer than they were supposed to be they were only seasoned people and sometimes we mistake them seasoned people for lifetime expectations and you get disappointed every single time so don't just look like when you see the red flags let that go when you know you're going through things knowing you are never going through them alone Know that you're worth, know your love for yourself. You know, when it's just like there's time I see people heading down that road I went through and I try to prevent them from that. You know, I see myself going through that. It's like I know my worth. You know, I see people being with other people because the fact is they're lonely. They don't want to be alone. You know, nobody wants to be alone, but you don't want to be with nobody that you don't, you know, don't know if they're loving you for you or loving you for what you have or what you have to offer. You know, not that genuine stuff. So it's just like with me, you know, I, I don't like being by myself. But I know when it's time for me to be with somebody, the universe is going to supply that right person for me. Because I'm patiently waiting. I'm not looking. You know, I've had people, you know, just because they knew who my family was or knew who my father was. Oh, you're that special one. Or, oh, I'm like, uh-uh, I already see what you're looking for. And it ain't love. Is is you're trying to get a come up, a clout. Or, you, you know, you just trying to be intrigued about what you can know about me so it's just like you know you get to know the real me and know i'm you know i'm human just like everybody else it's like just because my, my father is that's my father i'm not you know i'm a product of him but i'm not my father you know i'm just a down-to-earth girl you know i tell you how it is but i try to be you know respectable about people you know you know just tell them I'm like the girl next door I, I keep it real you know i don't want people acting funny towards me because you know some people act like timid you know i intimidate people and it's like i didn't even know that they're like girl you scare me i'm like why just because of who you don't know, relate to whatever i'm like girl whatever you know i'll say if you didn't know those things you would have never known you know that's why you know like i said in my other videos i'm glad when people have not you know seen all my videos so it's just like you see the ones that truly relate to you and then when it's time for you to get that fulfillment on you know who I am who I'm related to or whatever like wow you know she's you know she's you know it's whatever you describe to me you know scribe about me that's in a positive light you know you you accept that and it's just like a beautiful thing when you know you can help people out like that because it's just you know it's just like the y'all don't know how much I appreciate y'all <laughs> you know I t you know you know they all tell me that you know I've helped y'all through so many things it's just you know when I can impact somebody's life in a positive way that's a blessing to me you know it's not like I'm looking for anything in return you know I love what I do you know I always said I wanted to help somebody in a certain way you know people that used to tell me they prophesied that you know you're gonna do some big things and you know one day I'm just like this is about a time I was like a little badass and getting in constant trouble or whatever and I was like yeah right whatever do I like, no, Rosalind you really are you're gonna be you're gonna be doing some really good things for people and you just don't see it yet but they would see the things I wasn't able to see people would you know that know you know see me doing things so I enjoy what I do so it's just like when you're going through your situation just know you are never alone even though you might feel like you're going through it alone you're not you'll get the confirmations along the way if you, you know if you're not stressed out and being angry you know you won't be able to see it because you know you've got the energy over you and it's just hard for good things blessings and signs to come through when you have that stress when you're holding the walls up it bounces off you know it repels against it so it's hard for you to receive that so when you can take that time out for yourself and ask universe you know send you signs on the reason why you're going through the things you're going through 
you know, and, and you, you're going to get that answer in more ways than one. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. I hope everybody has a blessed, safe, lovely week and productive week. So now uplifting vibes, loving vibes, comforting vibes, and um, just infinite abundant vibes, whatever positive vibes, spiritual vibes. Let me just send all that love and light to y'all. So much love to y'all. I apologize because I know the videos have been crazy. So it's just like me doing these 20 minute videos. Trust and believe with me open loading them. It's going to take four or five hours. So, you know, hopefully y'all stay patient. I will see y'all next video. Much love to you. Remember, you are always blessed, forever favored, and forever loved. And truly know that there's somebody always out there praying for your better days. So my post notification shot out today. I'm giving out to um let me see. Lion Larson. Uh let me see. Kimber Wolfgang. Darian Kraus. And drifting clouds. Much love to you. Have uh, love and light and blessings towards your way. You know, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love to get the five positive feedback, even if it's about the content of the video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift, or if you're letting me know, hey, Rosalind, I like, I subscribe, and I hit the notification button so I can go ahead and give you a shout out on my next video. So until then, much love to you. Peace and be wild.